Ogi State Governor Ahmed Usman Ododo has vowed to sustain the fight against all threats to the security of lives and properties in the state. Governor Ododo spoke to journalists on Saturday, February 17th at the end of a closed-door meeting with chairman of the 21 local government areas in the state to deliberate on measures to mitigate threats to the security of lives and properties in the state. The governor noted that existing security architectures in the state has yielded tremendous success in the fight against violent crimes and must be sustained to ensure peace and stability in the state. Governor Ododo on Monday donated two operational vehicles to Kogi State Broadcasting Corporation for effective service delivery. Presenting the two vehicles on behalf of the governor, the Kogi State Commissioner for Information and Communications, Honorable Kinsley Fanwo, said the governor's gesture is aimed at ensuring that the Broadcasting Corporation is provided with the requisite resources to ensure effective service delivery to the people of Kogi State. Also, Governor Usman Urudu has reaffirmed his administration's commitment to quality education by aligning with the solid template set by the previous administration, pointing out that the educational sector has a 30% fund allocation in the consolidation budget. Chief of Staff to the Kogi State Governor, Horolebo Alibello, made this known on Sunday while meeting with leaders of Kogi State Student Ethnic Associations. The Chief of Staff assured that Governor Ododo will also look into the welfare of students, pledging that the administration will revisit issues of bursary and scholarship. Kogi State Governor Alhaji Ahmed Usman Ododo on Monday played host to Super Eagles goalkeeper Olon Ruleke Ojo. Olon Ruleke, who is an indigenous of Kogi State from Kababunu local government area, was Super Eagles' third choice goalkeeper at the just concluded African Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast. The goalkeeper was accompanied on the visit by the team manager, Mr. Enebi Acho, and the chief security officer of the Super Eagles, Mr. Adejo Francis, along with officials of the Kogi State Football Association, led by Alhaji Asanwada, who were in Lekoja to formally present their Afghan silver medals and national honors to the Kogi State Governor. Similarly, Governor Ahmed Usman Urudu on the same day hosted executive council members of the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANEL led by its president and chairman of Anand Council, Dr. James Ekarere Neminebo, on a costly call ahead of the opening ceremony of the Anand Professional Development Conference holding in Lokoja at Kogi State Capital. Following concerns over growing food inflation in the country, the Kogi State government is targeting improved food security through strategic support and collaborations with farmers across the state. According to Governor Usman Nududu, his government will address all challenges facing Kogi farmers, including insecurity, roads, market, finances, infrastructure, and needed technology. The governor made this known on Monday during an interface with all farmers' association of Nigeria, Kogi State, where he expressed that such meeting was to exchange lofty ideas and chart a course towards a more prosperous future for Kogi farmers and the nation that is concerned food security. On Tuesday, February 20th, 2024, Governor Ahmed Usman Ududo begins the distribution of 50 truckloads of bags of rice to indigent citizens in households across the 239 wards in the 21 local government areas of Kogi State, with a stern warning against the diversion of the commodity. The distribution of the truckload of rice is a quarterly palliative intended to help cushion the present economic hardship in Kogi State. Speaking during the distribution at the Muhammad Buhari Square in Lokoja, Governor Ahmed Usman Ododo emphasized that the intervention was strictly meant for the indigents at the lower level of the socio-economic spectrum of the society. The Kogi State Governor Ahmed Usman Ododo on Tuesday received members of the State Traditional Council of Chiefs in his private residence in Lokoja. Governor Ododo expressed gratitude to the royal fathers who he described as crucial partners to the success of his administration especially in the areas of community policing and overall development of the state. He called on the monarch to ensure that the palliative that was flagged up for distribution across the various wards of the state get to those who really deserves it. The president of the Kogi State Traditional Council, His Royal Majesty, Matthew Alaji Opalua Oguche Apa, the Ata Igala, led the delegation of chiefs on the visit. The Kogi State Governor, Alhaji Usman Ododo, on Thursday, February 22nd, participated in the monthly National Economic Council NEC meeting. The meeting, which was held virtually, was presided over by the Vice President of Nigeria, Senator Kasim Shatima, and had in attendance the 36 state governors, the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, 
and other co-opted government officials.